in this video we'll be understanding what is a postron automata why it is more powerful than finite automata what are the different components of pda what are the different operations of pda and also define seven tuples of pda finite automata phase for languages like e to the power n p to the power n very we need to identify the number of a's to match up with this number of b's finite automata doesn't have the capability of memory poisson automata is a more powerful machine than finite automata because pda has an additional capability of memory and memory used here is stack now let's understand what are the different components of pda it consists of an input tape okay. input tape size considered to be an infinite where the input tape is divided into cells and each cell is capable of holding up a symbol each cell is capable of holding up a symbol read header always reads one symbol at a time it can read only one symbol and always move to right direction by one position so after reading a it will read b then a then b on reading an epsilon it indicates that it is the end of the string or if i am reading an epsilon initially it indicates it is an empty string so read header will read only one symbol at a time and always shift by one position to right memory associated to pda is a stack now why stack is used stack is a zero address memory no need of indexing like array to reach to a particular location so no need of indexing like array now consider this to be our stack okay now why it is called as zero address memory because all the operations like push and pop will always be done at the topmost element of the stack considering the stack size to be infinite pd avoids the problem of stack overflow now to handle the problem of stack underflow there is a special symbol z0 which is always present at the bottom of the stack so z0 is always the initial or the bottom symbol of the stack so even if i pop out this a out b and a when i read this z0 this indicates that you have reached the bottom of the stack pd is defined by seven tuples okay first is q q is a finite set of finite state then sigma finite set of input alphabet q0 is the initial state f is a set of final state z0 is initial or the bottom stack alphabet tau is the topmost element of the stack and we have transition function for deterministic pda this is our transition function that is q cross sigma union epsilon cross top of the stack will go to q performing tau star that is any of the operation that is push pop and skip similarly non deterministic pda transition function is q cross sigma union epsilon cross tau will go will have 
2 to the power q cross tau star. So now let's understand what are the different operations on stack. The first operation is push operation. Okay, so let's consider this input tape over here. Initially reading an A and stack dot is my Z0 over here. Okay, now how do I push A to the stack? So let's start starting from state Q0 initial state. When my read header reads an A, when my read header reads an A and my stack top is Z0, stack top is Z0, perform push operation that is push this A over to the stack. So I'll write A Z0, that is A pushed on top of Z0 and read state Q1. Okay, A is pushed on to stack. Read header will now shift to one direction by one direction to right. On reading B, stack top is an A, push B to stack. So push B onto stack. Push B onto stack. Read state Q2. Fine, this is how we perform push operation. So let's take one more example here. Starting from state Q0. On reading A over here. On reading A. Stack top is Z0. Push A onto stack. Push A onto stack. And read state Q1. Read header shifted. By one position to right. And reading B now. On reading B, stack top is an A now. Perform push operation once again. So, B is pushed on to A. Reaching state Q4. That is B is pushed on top of A. Read header shifted to right by one position. Once again perform push operation. On reading A, on reading A, stack top is in B. Perform push operation that is A is pushed on top of stack. Read state Q3. A is pushed on top of B. Perform push operation. Read header shifted to right by one position. Once again, push B to the stack. On reading B, stack top is an A. Perform push operation that is B, A and read state Q4. That is how we perform push operation. So now let's understand how pop operation is done. Read header reading an A, stack top is Z0. Starting from Q0, so first we push A to the stack. So we know the operation that is on reading A, stack top is Z0. Push A to the stack. That is push A on top of Z0. Q1. My read header now reading B, stack top is in. Now I am saying that on reading B, pop out this A from the stack. On reading B, pop out this A from the stack. Now how to perform pop operation? On reading B, and my stack top is an A, perform pop operation. So when I want to perform pop operation, I'll be writing an epsilon and read state Q. So this A will be popped out from the stack and read header will now read an epsilon. That is how pop operation is done. Now PDA allows one more operation that is skip operation on stack. That is on reading an input, perform skip operation on read or else I can say on reading an input do nothing fine so let's start starting from state q0 on reading a on reading a stack top is z0 I am saying do nothing so that means do not change the top of the stack 
So Z0 will be as it is. Read state Q1 now reading P. On reading P, stacked up is still a Z0. Do nothing. So I'll be writing Z0 once again. So this is how we perform skip operation. So now let's try out all three operations. Let's say starting from state Q0. If I read an A, I push this A to the stack. So A on reading A, my stack top is Z0. I push this A to the stack. So I write A Z0. So this is my read header over here. This is my stack top. And this becomes my operation that is tau star. Here this is a push operation. Fine. So here I'll be pushing A to the stack. Now read header reading B. I say that on reading B, pop this A out. So on reading B, stack top is an A. And to mention pop operation, I know I have to write an epsilon. So on reading B, A is popped out from the stack read state q2 so this is my read header over here this is my stack top and this is tau star doing pop operation fine now reading epsilon i say that on reading epsilon my stack top is z0 okay so do not change it perform skip operation i know that z0 indicates it is the bottom symbol of the stack. So here I'll be keeping this as it is and read state Q3. So now how to write the transition function? Suppose this is our example over here. We'll write Q0 Q0 on input A. Q0 on input A. That is Q0 on input A. Stack top is Z0. Stack top is Z0. Fine. Goes to state Q1. Goes to state Q1. Performing push operation. That is A Z0. So this is my Q over here. For this, this is my A. Which is a part of input alphabet Z. This is my Z0. The stack top. Q1 is also a part of Q. And A Z0 is my tau star that is push operation okay now we'll write the transition for q1 to q2 q1 on input b on input b stack top is an a goes to state q2 goes to state q2 performing pop operation performing pop operation fine Let's write on the transition of Q2 to Q3. Q2 on reading epsilon. On reading epsilon that is input alphabet set. That is input string can also contain an epsilon. Stack top is Z0. Goes to state Q3. Performing skip operation that is Z0. So here Z0 is my tau star, indicating it is a skip operation. So we have understood what is PDA and how it works. In the upcoming videos, we will be solving more problems on PDA. Thank you for watching.